The story you will only see on 10. Miami commissioners now taking action following a local 10 investigation into an alleged ghost employee. And it's leading to a major shakeup. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live at City Hall with the exclusive update. Roy. Nicole and Louie, and this is an investigation that Local 10 has been following very closely. Well, tonight we did get a chance to hear from these city commissioners that went back and forth regarding these allegations. An employee who was hired 11 months ago has never shown up to work. No one in the company CRA would see Jenny Nilo. That's the problem. That's a lie. Commissioner S. Yeah, well, no, no, no. That, that is a lie. A heated exchange between City of Miami commissioners surrounding accusations Local 10 has reported on for days and what we learned FDLE is now investigating. That Jenny Nilo is being paid as a CRA employee while allegedly doing personal bidding for Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla. Then you know what? That's a problem. That this you is do. what we're going to get into. That's why the Auditor General is going to conduct an investigation. But we discovered state investigators have already begun their investigation, reviewing hours of surveillance video for Miami's Omni Community Redevelopment Agency, the office where they say Nilo hardly showed up. What is a lie that no one has seen Jenny Nilo. Jenny Nilo has been to my office every day and sometimes on weekends. Oh. Commissioner De La Portilla got his longtime friend hired and paid out of his budget months after her release from federal prison, who is still on probation for mortgage fraud. He was able to bring her on while he served as chair of the Omni CRA, but a major change coming in Thursday's commission meeting. You're not judge, jury, and execution. And neither are you. Commissioners passing a vote to prevent anyone who is on probation to be employed with the city, meaning recently hired Nilo is out. And as for De La Portilla's position as chair of the Omni CRA, commissioners voting he will be replaced by District 2 Commissioner Ken Russell. If there is a fact, a moment, that is evidence that she's done something wrong, I'm with you, but you don't know that. And as we come back out live to Miami City Hall, we did learn that state investigators are looking into allegations Nilo did personal work for De La Portilla in a city car. That car, we learned, was pulled over during a traffic stop just last week. FDLE continues their investigation. We'll be sure to let you know what they discover. For now, here in the city of Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.